Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Danica. If you're new here, thanks for clicking on this video. Today we're going to be talking about some trash, aka products I've used up or empties. I love watching these videos because by using up a product, you really get a feel for what it's like and if you like it or not. So without further ado, let's hop into the video. First off, I want to talk about tampons. <laughs> so these are the L Organic Cotton Tampons from Target. These were recommended by my friend and fellow makeup artist Emily Mosby. So they are Amazing. I have really enjoyed them. This is the regular you get 30 tampons in a pack and they actually come in a very compact size. Here is what one of the tampons looks like. So they are almost half the size of a regular tampon which is great for putting in your purse or putting in a small bag. And what you do is it's a regular tampon applicator inside, but you pull it to extend the regular length of a tampon and then you insert it. Um, but I've really been loving these. I love that they are all um, cotton, so no rayon, chlorine bleaching, or synthetic pesticides, and they're BPA-free plastic applicators. So I really like these. I'll definitely keep purchasing this kind of tampon from now on. This next one is probably my favorite of this whole video and it is the Beauty by Earth Self Tanner. So this is what it looks like. It is a completely natural self tanner. So you're not getting any of the gross chemicals that they put in self tanners sometimes. This is a lotion, so you're gonna apply it all over, sleep in it, and then the color will be developed the next day. I plan on doing a whole video on this self tanner, so keep an eye out for that. I've really been liking it. I got it in a buy one, get one half off sale, I believe, so I'm working on my second bottle of it. And it's been great. It gives me good color. It's really easy to apply, not streaky. Um, I have no bad things to say about it really, but I will go in depth in another video. So that's that. The next product I used up is this green tea citrus cleanser from Skin Scripts. And I actually have bought the full size one and I've used up the full size ones in the past. This is a facial cleanser I have been using for a long time now. Love that it is made in Tempe. It's a local business and I've loved everything I've used from their line. So highly recommend the whole line, but especially the green tea citrus cleanser. I love the scent. It really wakes you up in the morning and love using it every morning. Next is another favorite of mine. This is the Acure Radically Rejuvenating SPF Day Cream. And as you can see, I cut off the top corner to get every single drop out of this container. I really love this moisturizer slash SPF. It's SPF 30. This has turmeric, ferulic acid, and vitamin C in it, which are all good for evening out your skin complexion, so lightening dark spots, um, and creating an overall balanced complexion. And then also you're getting the SPF in there. And I find this to be pretty hydrating. So in the morning, I actually just wash my face and go straight in with this as opposed to using a moisturizer and then this. It is a zinc SPF. So if you haven't used a zinc SPF before, they are very hard to rub in usually. This one is not an exception, but once you get it rubbed in, it is great. Doesn't do anything weird with your makeup, which is another thing. I hate SPFs that affect the makeup. Um, so yeah, I have no problem applying this underneath makeup and um, the main ingredient is zinc oxide. It doesn't have avobenzone or oxysalate which are two of the toxic ingredients in sunscreen. So I love this. It does take some getting used to because you do have to really push it into your skin. But once you do, I swear you'll love this too. <laughs> I used up a full container of this moisturizer. This is the L'Oreal Paris Collagen Moisture Filler Moisturizer for day and night. It is a heavier moisturizer. Obviously I don't have anything so I can't show you, but I would describe this as a night cream. So it is very thick, luxe. You put it on, you're going to feel heaviness. It's not one that's just gonna sink right into your skin, but because it's heavier, it feels really moisturizing. 
when you put it on before bed, your whole face feels plumped up, moisturized, glazed donut, however you want to put it. That's what this does. I am big on facial ingredients as you've seen the skin scripts cleanser and the spf both very natural highly recommend this on the other hand is cheap from target walgreens drugstore and i have no idea what's in it so all i know is it does work nicely for fine lines and plumping up your skin however it is not a clean makeup product it's cheap in the long run, I don't know if this is going to wreck your skin, but for the price point, if you're looking for a nice moisturizer at nighttime, I do like it. I don't buy it every time, but from time to time when I'm out of a nighttime moisturizer and I'm like, oh, what do I get? I do pick this one up. So I do recommend it with a grain of salt. Don't know much about the ingredients. Next is a favorite of mine. This is the Tatcha Silk Canvas Primer. So... I have this in my makeup kit for freelancing. I actually got this from Influencer. So I did my survey, received an email saying that I was going to be getting the Tatcha Silk Canvas box. If you don't know what Influencer is, by the way, it's a program anyone can sign up. You can review makeup products and get sent product in return for your reviews and feedback on the items. So. I was so excited that I was getting this box. However, my previous box was an Estee Lauder box, but it came with a sample size about that big. And I didn't see much like difference because it was a skincare item. And for skincare, you have to keep using the product quite a bit. So when I got the email saying I was getting this, I was excited, but I was like, oh, it's gonna come and be this little tiny pot of silk canvas. Well, it came and it was the full size silk canvas primer. It's beautiful packaging and this is a putty type primer. There is a little left in there so you can see. So you just scoop out a tiny, tiny bit and rub it all over your face. Absolutely love how this smells. It's a very fresh skincare scent. I feel like my clients love it when I use it on them because it just smells luxurious and it is this is about 56 dollars retail i believe and i just purchased a fresh one because i love it it works great on my clients and i will continue to repurchase this um, it's a smoothing primer it does help with oil control as well i really liked this used it all up bought another one highly recommend and last but not least i threw out the container that this came in but i used up a cover fx powder as well this is another powder that i keep in my freelancing kit um, it is the perfect setting powder and it looks just like that this is in the shade translucent light so i use this for my fair to medium skin tones it's pretty translucent though so i don't find that it's too dark on darker that it shows up on darker skin tone clients either very finely milled my favorite thing about this is cover effects is vegan gluten free this powder is talc free so if you have clients with sensitive skin this is a great powder to use and recommend on them so this is my second time purchasing it and this one i'm using in my freelancing kit and i have used it on myself as well i love it it does give a nice blurring effect to the skin while perfect um while preventing the makeup from moving all over the place and that kind of thing so love this too so that is going to do it for this round of empties i definitely want to record more of these videos maybe do some household items as well as beauty skincare that kind of thing um as you notice these were all items that i really really like so i thought that would be helpful to you if you wanted to try out anything i'll have everything linked below if I had to pick like a top three, I think you should try the Beauty by Earth Self Tanner. Amazing, easy to use, good color, small business that you can support. I also recommend the SPF. This is probably the fourth or fifth bottle I've purchased of this. I love the price point for getting a more natural SPF because usually they are expensive if you look into it. And this retails for about $15. 
And then I would say try also, if you're a girl, <laughs> the tampons because I've been really enjoying these. I didn't find any discomfort with them, no leaking, nothing like that. And they actually are a um, giving back company too. They try to donate pads to girls who need them. So every time you purchase uh, a percentage goes to that cause. So love these three. If you're gonna try and buy anything, go for it. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video. Like, subscribe, comment, love you, bye.